etiology in Chinese medicine. This time we talk about wind. Wind is a dominant clinical climatic factor in spring, but is present in all four seasons. Hence, although wind-induced illnesses are most common in spring, they can be seen in other seasons as well. In Chinese medicine, the wind evil is a very important cause of illnesses due to exogenous factors. The nature and pathogenic characteristics of wind are as follows. So here you could see that uh, this is so fast moving, as you can see. And then uh, we have external wind that is characterized by impaired resistance and uh, metabolism physical and chemical factors, and this would also include bacteria and virus. And the impact of uh, exterior wind evil uh, will, uh, when it attacks the upper body, will result in headache, sweating, stuffy and running nose, puffy face, itchy throat. Okay, So it can, uh, uh, by affecting because it affects the upper body. Therefore, it has the characteristic of being able to ascend, permeate, and externalize. Exterior wind evil can loosen skin and interstitial space, leading to fever, and this will be manifest as fever, aversion to wind, and sweating. Exterior wind evil is characterized as being movable, and this gives rise to migratory arthritic joint pain. And lastly, it is changeable or transformable. So, and this can be, uh, this can lead to rubella, urticaria, or eczema. So, um, if one has liver dysfunction, definitely there will be interior wind. And this can have three impacts like it uh, causes extreme, the extreme inner heat causing wind, transformation of liver yang into wind and blood deficiency causing wind. Wind is a young evil. Its nature is to open and permeate, and it has great ability to invade the young sites in the body. Wind evil is swift and does not rest. Its characteristics are to rise, to permeate, and to move outward. Hence, it is a young evil. The opening and permeating ability of wind means that it can easily penetrate the skin and enter the interstices. It often attacks the head, the young meridians, and the superficies, and it often induces headache, sweating, aversion to wind. Wind is mobile and changeable. Wind being mobile means that when causing disease, it can move quickly from side to side with it without being tied to anyone. For example, in rheumatic and rheumatoid arthritis induced by wind, cold, and dampness, migratory pain of the joints is a symptom of wind. Because of this, the condition is often called migratory rheumatism or wind rheumatism. Wind being changeable means that diseases it induces are fast changing and unpredictable. For example, wind-induced urticaria, hives, is characterized by wheels that are itchy and evanescent and that can appear unpredictably in different areas. Wind is the chief of all illnesses, according to plain questions. It is the most important of the climatic pathogenic evils since the other climatic pathogenic evils all invade the body with its help as in illnesses caused by wind cold or wind heat or wind dampness. Thus, wind is often the vanguard for the other external pathogenic evils. Indeed, ancient physicians even used wind as a general name for external causes of illness. Thank you for your attention.